Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Hoth. I'll give everyone a second to join in. Post in the chat if you're stopping by and I'll give you a shout out. And then we will jump right in after that. Hopefully the Wi-Fi cooperates as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Liamo 29H, hello. Sanad uh, Garebe, hello. Jabri Jefferson, Amazing Gamer, Paul Armendaris, Jason DiCarlo, Nate Greenberg. Welcome, everyone. Hello, Noah Samuel. Hello, Gertha Sie. Sorry, I'm terrible at pronouncing some names. Haley Whalen, hello. Welcome, T-Rex Buckley, what's up? So, um, I figured I'd hop on and say hi. Uh, Tommy Lulu, nice beard, thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah, I figured I'd hop on and, and say hi and give you all um, a little, some bit of content. Um, so I know if, if you've missed any previous streams that I've done, um, things have been really busy the last few weeks, um, and we've, we've really been uh, reorganizing a lot of stuff at the house, moving some rooms, cleaning, I've been repainting some stuff. I'm actually in my our new bedroom, so the wall has been newly painted and stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you the room or anything just yet because things aren't finished fully, um, but that's kind of what we've been busy with, and so i got another couple weeks of working on things, and then hopefully after that... Uh, I'll get back to a lot of the Power Rangers content, Amiibo unboxing videos, all the things that have been pending. I have some reaction videos to do. So, lots of content coming up uh, soon. But uh, before I jump into that, let's let's see what's going on in the chat. What's up, everyone? Haley, am I excited about being a father? Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, now, inshallah, in, in just a few months. Uh, just a few more months, and then... Uh, Life is gonna is gonna change so much uh, for the better, and very very excited for sure. I love these live videos of yours. Thank you. These are fun. That's that's fun. So, um, what's going on with me tonight? So, a couple things, couple updates. Uh, I wanted to hop in. Uh, am I still in Virginia? Yes. I I, I didn't move houses. Um, we're still in the same house, but we just moved rooms within the house. And then we had to set up our nursery room, which is still in progress, and kind of working through all that stuff. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't like moved, moved out of the house, but within the house, there's been a lot of changes. What I have been doing on the side for fun here and there when I have time is I got the super mini plaw um, Lightspeed Rescue Zords, Go Go Five Zords, whatever. I didn't watch the Sentai, but um, so I've, I've built two of them so far. Um, and so I, here's the first one right there, which is pretty cool. And then I just built this yesterday. I've kind of been doing like one a day. So I'll probably build another one today, maybe. We'll see. Um, not really, you know, rushing with it, but just kind of taking my time. Do I have the others on pre-order? I, so no, I have the box. I have, I have the five Zords. They, it all came in one set. I did also get the other... Um, and I'm blanking on the name of it, but like the Space Shuttle one or whatever. I forgot the name in, in Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, but I did get that, but that's not out yet, I don't think. Um, and I did get the uh, the Super Train Megazord, um, but I guess that's also not out yet. So just just these so far, and the other three Zords, the, the main ones. All right, uh, what else are you guys saying? <coughs> Am I going to make Beast Morphers toy reviews this month? I don't know if it's going to be this month specifically, but next month, yes, definitely. Um, by next month, I should be in a place to be able to have my filming set up ready again to, to make more videos. So, yeah. Um, that looks like a different room than I'm usually in. Yeah, so I'm usually in my office, which is where I film my videos and I have a desk and stuff. Um, that's in the basement, and that, um, I will still, most of my videos will still be there, uh, but in between, while things are still in the works, and we're still kind of reorganizing and stuff, 
I am right now just kind of hanging out in the bedroom, so that's why this is different. Um, have I watched the Digimon Adventure reboot yet? Not yet. It is on my list to start watching, though. I usually just watch the dub for Digimon. I've never seen the sub. Uh, so I felt a little odd. Like, at first I was like, I'll just wait to see if they end up dubbing this thing. But I've heard so many good things about it that I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'll just watch the sub. So, um, I haven't watched it yet, but I will soon. I, I was going to start, and then I know that they had to take a break because of COVID-19. So then I thought, let me wait until they get back to doing new episodes. So that way I don't just watch some and then have to wait. Uh, and I think they're starting back with new episodes now. So I, I'll, I'll, I'll watch it soon. So, uh, just a little update, uh, in case the title didn't, in case you didn't see the title of the video. Here it is. So, I know, uh, initially, my plan was to not get any more Sentai stuff. Uh, the Kira Major stuff always looked fantastic. Uh, and then as more and more Mecha from Kira Major would release, I was like, these are just so good. Um... So I, I decided on something because my reason for not getting them was uh, mostly limited space that I have. And once my storage room is finished, I'll show you the space that I have. So you'll know exactly what I mean, how I'm running out of space. I decided that if I am going to buy any more Sentai or Kamen Rider, I have to get rid of other things to do it. Uh, and so that will severely restrict what I get because I will have to, you know, get rid of some things to make up space for new things. And so, like, I'm gonna, I've been cleaning through some stuff. I'm getting rid of, like, my old, like, Beyblades and things like that. What I, I may eventually get rid of some Transformers that I don't want anymore, so then I'll have room for new things. So, basically, that's my way of controlling what I collect um for other non-normal things as far as amiibo lightning collection those things you know that's standard stuff i'm collecting but um but as far as like going into sentai and common rider and that kind of stuff um I'm, I'm making a rule for myself where i have to get rid of certain things if i want to get more thing you know new things so i just kind of cycle it out basically um so with that being said i have this I have the, the two other auxiliary mecha that released at the time that this did. I think those arrived tomorrow. I got the one that's like the train and the dinosaur thing. I don't know what it's called, the purple one. I got that one ordered. And then I also pre-ordered, um, or ordered rather, the, um, the new one that just came out the, um, for the silver, uh, for Kira May Silver. Um, so all the, all the main mecha uh, I will um i'll be getting so i don't know that i'm gonna do videos of all of them um but this is you know this is what i plan to do for now i'm sorry my dude you're getting old you, you don't have to tell me that I, I i know that i can i can uh clearly i am obviously but uh, i will forever be young at heart kira major is amazing yeah so i've only watched about three or four episodes of Kira Major, but I have a bunch more episodes like downloaded and ready to go. So I'm going to watch, I'm going to catch up to Kira Major. Uh, but what I've seen of pictures and videos of other episodes, it looks amazing. So I definitely will, will be doing it. Uh, do I have Ranger Keys? Yes, I have, yeah, I have a bunch of um, Sentai and Power Ranger Ranger Keys. I have all of the Power Rangers Ranger Keys, I believe. Um, Sentai, I have, like, a couple teams and then a bunch of Red Ranger, Ranger Keys. I don't have all of them, and I don't want to get all of them. Um, but yeah, I, I got those, like, years ago, though. Casey, I haven't watched you since you did the Megaforce DS video. Wow, what a throwback. Oh, man, well, thank you for stopping by again. That's, that was years ago. That was, uh, those were interesting times. That's right, the Megaforce one. Uh, all right, let's open this up while we kind of talk. I'm not going to be doing a full review of this because people have already reviewed it out there. This is old by now, but we'll just kind of open it and and uh, check it out. Um, 
Did I hear about the new Power Rangers comic book series, Mighty Morphin? Uh, yes, I, I knew about that a few weeks ago because Amazon leaked some listings uh, for the comics. Um, this is why you should follow my Twitter if you don't already because I, I mentioned it on Twitter. I didn't fully share the link because I didn't want to like spread the leaks too much, but I did talk about like briefly mention it on Twitter. Um, but uh, yeah, there's there's going to be two new series of comics. So Go Go Power Rangers just ended. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is going to end after issue 55. Uh, and then there's going to be two new comic series. There's going to be Mighty Morphin, which was officially announced today. Um, and then there's going to be a series called Power Rangers. So very interesting to see what, you know, what these two series really develop into. Because Mighty Morphin and Go-Go, like, you could kind of get give an idea of what they were, you know, in terms of seasons, if you had to describe them. But I, I don't know with these starting over at issue number one with Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers issue ones, like... It's kind of a new status quo, so it's kind of interesting. What do I think of Kirame Silver? Silver, he reminds me of the Murky Ranger book in Silver. Andres, I could definitely see those comparisons. Um, I am mixed on Kirame Silver. My, and my initial thought was like, mm, okay, I want to give him. I want to give it a chance in action. I want. I want to you know catch up on Kira Major and see him in the show to fully judge how the suit looks on the show. Um, I love the, the five Kira Major suits. Um, Kira May Silver right now is, I'm a little okay on him, but we'll see. It might, it might grow on me. We'll see. Um, yes, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is coming to an end for the comic series, but the new series, Mighty Morphin, looks to, like, pick up where it, where it left off. <coughs> Cinefun, could I do a video with MMPR Toy sometime, please? So the thing, the thing to understand about collab videos, one, right now in this current global situation that we're in this pandemic, it becomes significantly harder to do any kind of collaboration videos. Um, also, the types of videos that I do lend themselves more to be in-person collaborations versus like, you know, over like a video chat type thing because... That's just not traditionally stuff that I have done on the channel. I've done a few here and there, like with Hyperforce, which was fun. But, um, but beyond that, I also don't live that close to too many people, and so it's like again, it, and and time, the amount of time it would take to travel and do all that. Really, the only chances I get to do collaborations, for the most part, is like if I were at a convention, which. I don't have any convention plans right now because of everything going on in my life. So, um, so I'm not going to say, you know, like never say never, but, um, while I, I would love to do collaboration stuff, um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, you know, but maybe one day I'd love to eventually start going back to conventions and stuff, but I think it's going to be a while before I can do all that because, you know, Obviously, uh, my life is changing, and uh, so gotta gotta have different priorities. So here they are, right here in the box. I'll just kind of get them all out of the box. Oh, they're all separate, one by one. Okay, cool. Oh man, I've seen videos of these things too, but it's so cool seeing them in person. The translucent plastic looks so cool. It like fits the design of this stuff perfectly. That's so neat. So there you go. I don't remember the names of all of the individual things, and it's not in English on the box that I can see, but the green one, there you go. <laughs> um, that's pretty cool. Do you know where I can buy Ranger keys? I don't. You, 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 they don't, they don't sell them like normally anymore. You got to find them on eBay or something or find, you know, maybe there's some sites that sell used ones or something like it's, it's probably a lot harder to find that kind of stuff at this point. Um, all right, let's keep going. By the way, some of the questions that I'm seeing in the chat, I've already answered uh, and I don't want to keep repeating myself. So just keep that in mind. If you're late to the live stream, I might've answered your question already. Um, but I would hate to just constantly keep repeating my my answers for people that are in the live stream because then they're going to get bored, you know? 
Um, so just keep that in mind. I, I may, I, if there's a few, if there's enough people that keep asking, I, I might answer again, but otherwise, we'll see. Um, there you go, here's the yellow one, that's super cool. I love what they did with these, and I actually like the smaller size because it takes up less space as well, which certainly does help. Um, am I going to get rid of any Cure Rager, Cure Uger or Dino Charger stuff? Dino Charge stuff? Um, I, as of now, have no plans to get rid of anything Power Rangers or Sentai related, uh, especially Power Rangers. Um, that's the one collection that I am keeping. With the exception of, the only thing that I am getting rid of um, is some of those masks that they had for like the, I think like for Samurai, Megaforce, like the masks that are clearly made for kids um, that I got to make reviews of um, that I have no use for. Um, also, when I say I'm getting rid of things, that does not mean that I'm doing a giveaway. Um, or that I'm necessarily selling them on YouTube. So keep that in mind. For me to, to every time I want to get rid of something, have to make a YouTube video about it and do some kind of a giveaway or, um, or sell them online and stuff. Honestly, sometimes the easiest thing for me to do is to just donate it to, you know, local places that, that need that kind of stuff. Um, so that's what I'm doing for those masks, for example. Now, I do recognize that there are going to be some things that eventually, if I do get rid of, people may have an interest in. So I will keep that in mind. Um, but as of now, the things I'm getting rid of, for the most part, are not are not things that most people are going to be caring about. You know, aside from one or two things, like I was talking about Beyblades or whatever, like most of it is just other junk that I've accumulated that has nothing to do with you know, most stuff that people would, would see on the channel. Uh, am I still watching Kamen Rider Zio and what do I think of it so far? No, so Kamen Rider Zio and Cure Major are, the, are two shows that I never went back to, but I want to. I have a few episodes of both of those downloaded on my iPad, so I'll probably catch up on them soon. Um, so I definitely want to continue. What is my oldest Power Rangers toy? I don't know what, like, the oldest toy is, but I, I have toys from 1993, 1994, when the original Mighty Morphin toys uh, came out. Um, I, I started watching the show when it came out, so I, I have the, like, the Mighty Morphin flip head figures. Um, uh, I have some of those, the bigger size Power Rangers, where you'd push a button on the back and it would, like, kick or punch or something. Um, I have like, you know, like that kind of stuff. I've shown it in old videos. If you go back on my channel and look at, uh, videos where I've shown my collection like years ago, um, you'll see all my old Mighty Morphin stuff because that's, that's what I have. Um, I, I, I don't really go back and collect more of that type of older stuff. So what you see is pretty much what I have. Here's the blue one right there, which again, looks pretty cool. Do I get ninja steel ones? I don't. I don't know what that means. Um, I've done lots of ninja steel reviews on the channel, so I, if you're asking about something specific, just check my channel. Uh, there's a Power Rangers videos playlist on my channel that has all of my Power Rangers reviews. Um, so I, I did a bunch of ninja steel reviews. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what you're specifically talking about, but there's a lot of Power Rangers ninja steel reviews on my channel. Um, This one's pretty cool. I like the little effect that they did there for the blades. The little sticker inside. That, that's actually really cool. Like toys? Yeah, I reviewed a lot of Power Rangers Ninja Steel toys. Uh, yeah, this one. This one's definitely pretty cool. Um, a couple people asking about Fortnite. I, um... So, here's the problem with... Fortnite videos right now is 
Again, we're, I'm in the middle of reorganizing a lot of stuff in the house. So in order to do Fortnite live streams, I need to connect uh, my laptop to like my capture card. And there's a whole setup with a bunch of wires and stuff. That's all in the basement where I don't, right now things are kind of in the works. So I'm not able to sit down and do a live stream of Fortnite right now. Um, I do play Fortnite every now and then, but I also removed most everyone from my friends list because it got to a point where it, I started to get just spammed with people sending invites. And then also, I don't know if it's a setting that I had, but every time I would join like another one of my friends lobbies, it would make my privacy public. So any of my friends could join. So if I would want to play with a friend, all of a sudden I had 10 other people join in and it just became chaos. And so unfortunately I had to, you know, make the decision to, to wipe my friends list clean. Um, I'm not saying eventually I may add people back in the future. Um, but for now, that's what I had to do. I definitely want to do more Fortnite live streams. Absolutely. It's so much fun to do. I just can't right now because I don't have my capture card set up and all that stuff right now. Uh, am I going to do any Beyblade videos in the future? No. I, Beyblade, I'm not into Beyblade anymore. I used to be with the original show and stuff. Um, I watched Beyblade, V-Force, G-Revolution. I watched all those. Um, but I, I have no no interest in getting more new new Beyblades. So don't expect those on the channel. Uh, the name Dino Fury is fine. It's it's a you know interesting name. I like the logo. Logo's pretty cool. Um, so this one they had transformed already as the uh, like the jewel. So this is pretty cool. So let's see if I can transform this thing into the uh, into the actual vehicle. They don't give too many instructions on it, um, but let's shouldn't be too hard to do. Looks like this just folds down. And, uh, oops, no, that shouldn't pop out right now. Is that pretty much it? Um, oh, this folds out, okay. So that you can also, oops. Oh, I see. This thing down here goes like that. That's easy enough. I like easy transformations. You know, makes it makes it nice and simple. That's pretty cool. Interesting design too. I kind of kind of dig the design. It is a little basic, but you know the little flames and stuff there. It's kind of cool. <clears throat> Am I excited for Paper Mario: The Origami King? Um, I was never that big on Paper Mario personally because it is an RPG and I don't really like RPGs for the most part. Um, Super Paper Mario was kind of fun from what I played, but the other one's not too big on. However, um, my wife is a big Paper Mario fan and um, I did order uh, Paper Mario the Origami King for her. So she will be getting the game on Friday um, and, and playing it. So I'll probably like watch her play some of it, um, but I, I don't plan to play it myself all right so now that we have these five let's try and combine these and uh and see what we get so if i can try and follow the instructions here all right looks like it rotates like that and then the arm goes down like that looks like an easy enough transformation the legs move apart uh all right what's going on with the arms here Oh no, that's a different one. That's uh, this guy. Okay. So with this, it looks like it's supposed to be like that. And then this should just attach on. All right, I'm looking at the box. Looks easy enough. Okay. Then we have the green one right here which should just pop right in on top. And then this is supposed to slide.
slide forward. That's a cool transformation to go to the side like that. Um, and this is the, uh, what is this, the land, land mage form? Is that what it's called? Um, but that looks really cool. See, I like this. I like how compact it is, and yet it still transforms and looks really cool. I like the the way they did the stickers, so like in the light, it kind of shines a little bit, you know? Um, this is actually really, really cool. I like the design of this. Uh, and then we have the other one, which, let's see if, I don't think the instructions, they don't really show instructions for the individual forms, just the main ones. So I might have to kind of do this based off of what the box looks like, but I think it kind of pops open. I oh, know, actually, wait, this thing folds back. Okay. And then these go back to the side. Oh, I see. So it's like, because this is the, the jewel thing, but then the legs pop open like that, and that's it. Now we have the helicopter, which, let's see if I can figure this one out. Um, so these move forward. Oh, okay. I see. And it just folds forward like that. And then these go down to the side. It's actually really easy. I like that. I like these easy transformations that still look pretty cool. And then this just clips on. Oh wow, that is really small. I mean, I knew it'd be small, but I didn't expect it to be that small. This is the Sky Mage form. Look at how tiny that is. It's almost like the size of one of those mini pot things. Um, but it's that's that's really cool looking though. I like I like the, the way they did this. Now we get to combine these two into Kira Mason, the, the main thing. So let's take the little helicopter off and let's put it back into the normal helicopter mode. Okay. So the way that this thing seems to work is the little blades fold back and I think they're supposed to clip in somehow, somewhere. Oh, not yet, okay. So this is gonna go onto the main chest right here. And then this is going to go like that. And then we're gonna take these pieces and they're actually gonna clip on like that. Here, let me, let me just do it and then I'll show you. It's kind of hard to do both at once. All right, that's interesting. So it does that. So these pieces attach onto the front, so you can kind of see it like that. Um, do I do Nintendo Switch review still? Um, guys, please don't spam the chat. Um, okay. So I... I do like Joy-Con videos, but there haven't been new Joy-Cons. That being said, I do have a Nintendo Switch video of a game that I will be doing soon. It's um, it's a limited edition physical release of a game. I think it's called like the Graceful Explosion Machine or something like that. So just keep an eye out for that eventually. I, I haven't filmed it yet though, but I, I will soon. Um, okay, so now that I have this, it's time for the little jet. Um, which, okay, so this has got to pop open so that I can take the little handle out like that, okay, and then this piece has to fold back up, and does this close back in? Yes, it does, so it's like a sword, basically. And then last but not least, um, so that this was the head for the land mage, right? But watch, inside the green, there's a little another head that folds back over it. And that's the head for Kira Maze, and it's got all the colors, which looks really cool. And here we go. I believe this is it. There might be one or two little things that I might have mistransformed, but that's super easy.
The blade extends on Jeter? Oh, you're right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that's so, um... Oh, okay. There's a little tab right here that uh, slides out. I see. Thank you. Uh, that was, um... Andres, thank you. That was definitely in the instructions, but I but I missed it. Um, but yeah, that's super cool. I love the way this thing looks. And I can't wait to get some of the other ones and swap out some things. I'm curious to see eventually what they do with it, like if they end up, you know, combining some other ones or doing something, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, my opinion on Dino Fury suits. The main suits, I'm mixed on. I think there's some parts of them that I think look really cool, and there's some parts of them that I'm like, I don't know, it doesn't kind of fit. Some of the armor stuff that they have, uh, like Ryusol, what is it, Ryusol Max Red or something, amazing. It looks awesome. So definitely excited about those. Uh, am I getting King Express or G Gigant Driller? I don't remember the names, but I believe you're talking about the other the the, the other Kira Major Mecha, right? Which yes, I am. Um, I I ordered all those because uh, I know there's a purple train dinosaur thing, dragon thing. So I assume that's King Express, and the other one. I... Am I back? Let me know in the chat if you can still see me now. I'm back at reconnecting. I knew the Wi-Fi wasn't super great, but um, yeah, Power Rider. I, I I know that, but I can't like, you know, it's it's annoying to have to tell all my friends to change their settings every time I want to play with them, um, and uh, and also it just it just got too much. It's got too much to manage, to be honest. Um, so. It was for the best for me to kind of clean slate and then go from there. Um, uh, Chris Cantata Force had a Muslim Ranger in his video. What are your thoughts? And would you like to see a Muslim in the Pioneer's reboot? Uh, I had a Muslim Ranger in his video. What? Uh, interesting. I don't know what that. What you mean by that? Like, cause are you talking about? The video where he had a bunch of people doing the little, I don't know what it's called, but the little punching challenge or whatever, and it had some actual rangers in there too. I don't know. Either way, regardless, um, his newest morph video with the pink ranger cosplays. Got it. Um, am I Muslim? Yes, I am. But yeah, I mean, I think that would be cool. I, I'm always down. I think it's important to have representation. So I'm always down for more representation because we have yet to have the closest we've gotten to any, um, I and mean, we've had a couple people that, like, you know, you could say, um, like, where's, I forget where, um, uh, Azim is from, from Megaforce. I interviewed him and I asked him, but I forget, is he Egyptian or, or, or somewhere? I don't remember where he's from. Um, but, you know, there's a couple people that, like, you know, are from various ethnicities. The, then closest to, to me, um, I'm Pakistani, and so there's people that um, are um, uh, like uh, um, Ravi, who's played by, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on everyone's names, uh, Jazz, um, uh, is Desi at least, you know, which is uh, from the broader South Asian uh, grouping. And so it's it's cool to have that kind of representation, and I would love to see more of it, I guess is the short answer. Am I excited for the new Battle for the Grid season pass? Um, yeah, I, I am. I definitely... I'll probably have to check it out soon. I, I won't be able to do a video right now, um, because of, like I said, my, my capture card set up and all that. But otherwise, I mean, yeah, it'd be fun to revisit the game. What level am I in Fortnite? Right now I'm level 81, or maybe a tier or two above that. Something like that. 81, I think. Um, 
Is the ultimate team up in Beast Morphers done yet? Uh, depends on what country you're in. Uh, like if you're in the UK, Beast Morphers is finished. Uh, it all it all finished. Um, and so it's been it's been fun. Uh, so I, I've watched all of it. In the US, we still have the whole team up to air. It hasn't aired yet. Um, Nice, you're getting good. I I used to say when I would play Fortnite on this channel that I suck at the game. I feel like I can say that I'm okay at the game right now. I'm never going to say I'm good at it because I don't have enough time or energy to, to get to that type of level that some people are at, especially people that build all sorts of crazy stuff. But I will say, like, I... You know, every now and then I'll play a game on my iPad and I'll just hop in uh, one or two a day or something. And most of the time I've been winning uh, when I do like a solo game or something. Um, so, I mean, I've, I've been doing pretty decent. I, I feel like I found my groove right now. And, all right, sorry guys. I'm going to block some people on this channel um my groove right now is using the ipad pro the newest one so i can play in 120 frames per second and then i don't have my controller but using the xbox controller i'm using the cyberpunk one that i did a video of um and that's where i've hit my groove i found like that is where i kind of work work the best um I don't know what it is like on the switch i ended up turning off motion controls but i i just i don't know the xbox controller there's something about it that helps me like I, it's a little easier to use even with the switch pro controller i don't know what it is maybe it's the aim sensitivity that i need to adjust or something but the xbox controller i found a good groove with now on the xbox itself i haven't played in a while but i also typically didn't do as well i don't know if it's because other players on xbox are even better or maybe because of like i don't know on a smaller like on an ipad screen i can kind of focus and see everything at once whereas on the tv it's a i would play on a bigger tv and maybe that's actually kind of distracting or it's not as easy i don't know um i haven't played in the on the xbox in a while actually so i do need to go back and try it again um but yeah the ipad pro is kind of hit my sweet spot um I do know about the 8-bit Doe controllers. The thing is, I don't really, in the nicest way possible, I don't really care. Uh, and what I'll say is they make great stuff from what I've seen. I don't need NES or Super NES style controllers. Um, I didn't grow up on those systems. I grew up on the N64, so it's like not nostalgic for me. And also, I just, I just don't need them. I have Super Nintendo controllers from Nintendo, my Nintendo. Uh, you know, like I have NES controllers from my Nintendo. Um, what I do have that for, is from 8-Bit Doe is an adapter for making GameCube controllers wireless. So I, I do have an 8-Bit Doe adapter. Uh, um, and that, that has worked pretty well. Um, so yeah. Why do I blink like that? I don't know, to be honest. I've I have noticed that my it's my whole life I've always done that. I always do this weird blinking thing where it's like I like almost kind of blink really hard or blink a lot or something. I don't know. Um obviously I, I watch back my my own videos, so I, I notice these things too. Um but surprisingly, you're you're one of the first people that's actually like said something. I don't know if people are trying to be too nice about it or something, but uh Surprisingly, people haven't commented um, on it much. I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things where, like, if I if I notice it and I keep it in mind, I can stop it. But otherwise, it's just a weird habit thing that I've had my whole life. I don't know. It is what it is, as they say. There's an adapter that connects Xbox, PS4, and Wii controllers to the Switch. Oh, cool. Um, they make lots of 
cool stuff. So I, yeah, I may have to check that out, that adapter. Um, the thing is, I like the Pro Controller. Um, so I, I don't mean to criticize the Pro Controller. I think it's awesome for Switch. It's just, I don't know, in playing, in, maybe I just got used to the Xbox controller in Fortnite because that's what I use the most. Um, I will say playing on the Switch Lite, I find to be better for Fortnite than the Switch regular Switch. I don't know why. Um, I don't know. There's all these weird stipulations about it. Maybe the smaller screens, for some reason, I do better with. I don't know. It's weird. Um, maybe I'm just making up excuses. Uh, who knows? But that's just what I've what I've noticed. Fortnite Master T2. I am excited for more representation. Yeah, if the rumors are to be believed, I, I think uh, it's important to have. So Power Rangers has always been about diversity and, you know, representation. You saw what happened with the 2017 movie. So, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see more more representation for sure. Have I played the Power A wireless GameCube controller? Yes, I have one. I have the um, I have the purple one. And do I have the? Did I get another one? Did I get the gold one, or did I think about just buying it? I don't think I actually got it. I think I just have the purple one. Yeah, I have the purple one. <coughs> So I am error. I don't want to get into the full. I don't know if this is the platform to to discuss all that, but the way I see it is, um, is at its core, our faith is also about uh, accepting people and um, not persecuting others. And, you know, the fact that we are all, technically, the word Muslim basically means one who submits to God. And so, technically, by that definition, you could say that we all um, are Muslim. And so, in that sense, we are all human. We all, um, you know, have something unique to offer. And uh, so, to me, it's all about that inclusion. Um, so I think that's a much larger conversation that you're having because, yes, you could say that about about a few different um, you could say that about a few different uh, major religions, but I'm not really here to have that type of debate. I can only tell you what um, what I feel, and uh, and the the one other thing that I will say on that subject is that I I will not tolerate any kind of hate against anyone on this channel. Um, and so not saying you or, or anyone is, is doing that, but just a general statement um, that that this channel has always been open to all and will always be open to all. And, and that's the way that I want to keep it. All right, what else? Let's see. Um, I did not watch the treehouse. Um, I, uh, it was mostly about Paper Mario, which again, I am not personally interested in. Um, I did tune in to see their little announcement, uh, which was the Bakugan game and then I turned it off. Um, and so, yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, Mahin's, Mahin's doing well. She's fine. Thank you. Any news about your baby? Uh, no, no news at this time. I think in in a few weeks, inshallah, we'll have um, we'll we'll know the the gender of the baby. So that's exciting. But otherwise, just trekking along. Um, have I watched the Sonic movie? I have. Uh, I I saw it in theaters, and I bought the movie. 
Uh, I haven't rewatched it yet, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I'm excited for more. Definitely, I definitely want to. You know, I, I think I think it was rumored. I don't know if it's confirmed yet that it's getting a sequel, but it, it definitely should. It's uh, it was actually it ended up being pretty good. I'm, I'm glad they made the changes that they did, and because of that, I wanted to go and support the movie, and it ended up actually being pretty entertaining. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Do I like Pokemon? Yes, I like Pokemon. I yeah, I grew up on Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon is actually, I believe, one of, if not my first ever video game. I believe it's hard to know, obviously, since I started playing so young, but I believe my first ever video game system was the Game Boy Color, and I know I got two games with my Game Boy Color. I got Pokemon Blue version and Frogger. So. If all that's to be believed, then Pokemon Blue would be, you could say, you know, one of my first ever video games. Um, so, yeah. What time is it right now? 5.54. Okay. Um, Let's see. Okay, sorry, I had to check uh, the emails. Um, okay, I'm back. <sighs> Has lockdown changed you in any way? Um, ooh, that's a good question. Um, has lockdown changed me in any way? I don't know that it's changed me necessarily so much as it has... Um, it's... You know, you, you certainly learn to appreciate some of the things that you um, uh, have taken for granted before, like the ability to go out and... and you know, go to a mall and watch a movie and all this kind of stuff and, and be safe and all that. Like, some of those things are, are um, you know, you, you kind of, you realize the privileges that, that you have. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know that it's changed me in any way. I mean, there's other things in life that are changing, like, you know, the fact that, that I'm going to be a, a father, inshallah, you know, so like, you know, that stuff is all going on. Um, but I don't know if that's specifically lockdown related. I think um, it, it's been tough uh, to not be able to be with a lot of family and with friends um, because we, we are taking it pretty seriously. I know, you know, different people have different levels of how they're handling it. Um, and, you know, we have been, you know, social distancing and uh, wearing masks when we go out and only going out for things when we need to, um, you know, so I, I think that's been, that's been important. <clears throat> Silver Phantom LX, I'm new here. What's the main topic element of this channel? Well, first of all, welcome. Thank you for, for stopping by. Um, I'm curious as to how you found this channel, if you said, you know, uh, if you're wondering, you know, what the main point of the channel. So the channel's name is called The World of Ha. So Ha, H-A, are my initials. So basically, it's a way for me to share all the things that I am passionate about, all the things I'm excited about, whether that's, you know, the show that I grew up on, Power Rangers, and doing reviews of that stuff in my collection that I have, whether it's reacting to new music videos from my favorite music group, Pentatonix, whether it's doing gaming videos for video games that I enjoy, um, it's kind of a few different things, but it's all things that I <clears throat> enjoy and want to be able to connect with others on as well. So, you know, so those are some of the main topics that you'll see on the channel, but I dabble in other things. I do live streams every now and then to just talk and hang out with people. And uh, yeah, so I mean, the channel's evolved so much over the years since uh, 2006 when I started it. So it's been a long time, uh, but it's just a way for me to get on and... and and connect with people that may have similar interests, basically. That's that's sort of the, the short answer. <coughs> uh, 
Let's see. Am I excited for the new Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Paul? I am. Um, I will say, I mean, as as you, for those who watch my channel know, I'm very behind on Lightning Collection reviews. So I'm also just excited to sit down and finally open up all those other Lightning Collection figures that I already have. I think that alone will be very exciting for me uh, because I have multiple waves of figures that I still haven't opened. So I think I'm more excited about doing those because there's been some great figures that I've had sitting for months. Um, and then I'll get more excited about the other new stuff, you know? So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at right now. I did hear about the Hasbro Toei rumor. Um, <coughs> <coughs> what I will say is I encourage you to go to the Illuminati's YouTube channel, and they did a live stream recently um, with Mike from Power Rangers Now, and then uh, Toku Chris from Toku Nation joined in as well. Um, and I think, I mean, it's like a two-hour stream, but I think they really covered it in detail, um, and they did a great job of offering the full perspective behind it all, and I think they're they're pretty spot on with, with a lot of what they said. So to sum it up, I would say I I think generally speaking I could definitely see what they're saying is very possible um so what that means for people that haven't seen it I don't want to I don't want to take too much out of context because there's a lot of context behind it but supposedly the rumor is <coughs> excuse me I've been talking a lot so I need to drink some water first before I say anything <clears throat> But um, supposedly the rumor is that Hasbro, after Power Rangers Dino Fury next year, is going to end their relationship with Toei, uh, which means no more using Sentai for Power Rangers. I don't think that means they're going to do their own live action show um, because it would just be more cost to them. I don't see that happening. What I think seems to be the case is they really are putting their focus and attention on the upcoming Power Rangers movie reboot and seeing how that goes. Um, and there's always the possibility, which I think has become more and more likely over the years, for an animated series. Um, so we'll see. These are all rumors and also speculation. Um, personally, I, I have a few different thoughts about it. I think one, from Hasbro's perspective, I think all of this makes perfect sense. Um, I'm excited to see what becomes of this movie. Um, I would be bummed to see the live action show end. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if they're going for uh, a different focus on the franchise, uh, whether it's the movies or whatever, <coughs> um, I wouldn't mind seeing some a different approach to the franchise. It's, it's been long enough, you know, and it'll be nice to change up the formula. Um, I'd love to see an animated series, uh, depending on the style of animation. I think that could be really cool. Um, I certainly had always wanted almost an animated series as a supplement to live action, so it'd be a bummer if there was no more live action. Um, but I understand it if that if that does happen. So we'll see. You know, there's always a uh, Sentai, right? If you need your live action fill, and I know it's not necessarily the same thing, um, but it's something. It's something at least. Um, that is until who knows how long Sentai lasts. But that's a whole different story. Um, so we'll see. Uh, YouTube recommended me this channel. I believe it's from the Pokemon Worlds vlog search. Oh, wow. That's an interesting... It's always interesting to me to see how YouTube throws stuff around like that. Yeah, Pokemon Worlds. Uh, that was an interesting time. That was fun. Uh, I do some Pokemon TCG unboxing videos on the channel to tie it into Pokemon. Um... But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. That's funny. <laughs> Remember the PDP Joy-Con grips? I put a comment saying the Surge Joy-Con grips is a better way to play games with the Joy-Con sideways. Oh, gotcha. I don't, well, I just don't play too many games that use Joy-Con sideways. I mean, there are some, but, um, and they're fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with using the Joy-Con sideways, uh, yeah, there are grips out there, but, like, it's not that big of a deal for me. Do I watch anime? Um, 
not really. I mean, I guess you could say the most recent stuff, if you count like Digimon Adventure Try, um, which I do want to watch the new Digimon Adventure reboot. Uh, other anime? Not really. I used to be big into Naruto back in the day, uh, but that was years ago. I haven't, I haven't really watched. Um, yeah. If I had to go to a city or a country, what would it be? Uh, I would love to go to Japan. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Uh, but then also New Zealand. I think that would be another really cool place to visit. Uh, Japan for the sites, for just the, the culture, the uh, obviously, you know, all the... There's so many things I watch that are influenced by Japanese culture or come from Japan, and it's just, it'd be cool to go there and explore it. I know my wife uh has also wanted to go so i think that would be fun and new zealand i think just for the scenery the location i filmed power rangers here so you know i might do something like that but i wouldn't go out of my way for that i think i would more just want to explore and enjoy the sites you know they filmed the show lost there as well which i loved i know they did like lord of the rings and other stuff too but like just in general um i think new zealand how many joy con pairs do i have in total I have lost track now. Um, more than 10. Uh, <coughs> if you go to my most recent Joy-Con unboxing video, you'll have your answer there. I, I honestly, it's so hard to keep track now at this point. Do you think we're going to get a cast reveal for Power Morphicon in June? Well, there is no Power Morphicon this year. Uh, Power Morphicon was canceled this year, and it's going to be next year. So... Next year, by the time Power Morphicon comes, the show will have already been airing. So it's too late for a cast reveal then. So I think um, they'll do a cast reveal some other way. I, I could see them just honestly just posting it on Twitter. I could see them just sending out a press release, giving it to IGN or comicbook.com or something as an exclusive. They could do it a number of different ways. Um, uh, but it's a bummer. That was one of the fun parts about the cast reveals at Power Morphicon. It was a cool experience. Um, so that's a bummer that it's not happening, but you know, there's a pandemic. So what can, what can you do, right? Would it be cool for Kamen Rider to be adapted again in the US and what should be the adapted season? I think it would be cool. Um, I like the trend of bringing more Kamen Rider stuff in general to the US and having it be more accessible. They had the Heisei Generations Forever movie over the weekend, which I did watch um, on the live stream, so that was cool. Um, so I, I like that. Um, I haven't watched enough of Kamen Rider to know what would be a good season to be adapted, so I can't really say that. Um, but I would, of course, I'd be down for it, definitely. <coughs> When I first started watching, I thought you were Brennan Mejia because you have a similar voice to him. I've had a few people on the channel say that, or say that I even look like him, which I'm not, I'm not sure about that one, but, um, but that's interesting. Brennan's a cool guy. Um, I, uh, I met him briefly at Power Morphicon, um, and I also have played um, Pokemon and Smash Brothers with him, and he's really good. Do I have five pro controllers? I have four. I have the regular one, the Splatoon one, Smash Brothers, the custom gold one. What I don't have is the Xenoblade one um, because I'm not into Xenoblade. Um, I was collecting, I'm collecting the Joy-Cons. I am not collecting pro controllers. Um, I get pro controllers if I like the designs. Um, I just, I just don't care about Xenoblade, so I just, I skip that one. Uh, but if they make other controllers, I'll, you know, other cool pro controllers, I'd, I'd get them. 
any news on Super Sentai DVD still coming to the U.S.? They, uh, somebody asked Shout Factory, and they said they don't have the rights to any more Sentai series. So maybe one day that will change, but as of now, they don't have the rights, which is a bummer because the first Sentai season that I was that I had watched some episodes of uh, was Abba Ranger. So I personally have wanted to, I would buy DVDs from Abba Ranger onwards. I don't care too much. I'm not the type of person that will go back and watch older, um, like Sentai seasons and stuff that just doesn't appeal to me. Like maybe one or two episodes, but I just, otherwise like I just don't personally have that interest. So I didn't buy any of the Sentai DVDs because I didn't, like, I wasn't going to watch them. So I was waiting for Abba Ranger, and then I would start buying them. And they literally stopped right before Abba Ranger. Of course. Of course, right? So uh, <coughs> I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe one day, right? I can, I can hope. I can hope. My day is uh, going well. Um, thank you for asking. I just... Uh, just figured I'd hop on, hang out, say hi. I was opening up Kira Mason right here, which is pretty cool. Um, let me actually transform these to the different jewels. Actually, let me do that because I haven't I haven't done that yet to get all the you know put it all together into one thing. Boom! There's the blue one. Um, I think this, yes, this looks correct for pink. What's up, Andrew? Hmm. It's not like locked in the place, but it sits in. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, then we have the car, which, oh, how does this one work? Oh, is that it? This just folds back? They don't have instructions in this. I'm just looking at the packaging. So I think this is it for the car. It looks like it just folds back and then... Oh, no, wait. Does this thing... Hold on. This thing folds forward for some extra supports on the back, I think. Now I think we're... We're good. Hmm. Interesting. All right. And then for yellow... I think this is going to kind of fold in like that. So, yeah. There you go. And then for red, I think this just, does this fold back or, I don't know, it actually just folds down like this. And then that's it. So there you go. The, the five jewels or whatever I forget what they're called Kirame crystals or something Is that what I don't remember it's been a, I need to get back to watching the show but that's pretty cool yeah <clears throat> what else what is your favorite Power Ranger series um I don't know my favorites vary depending on what mood I'm in but uh, in Space, RPM, Time Force, um, Dino Thunder, those are probably some of my favorites. Am I Muslim? Yes. All right, y'all. Um, I am going to uh, call it quits for today, but thank you for stopping by uh, and hanging out with me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another live stream with the other Kira Major stuff, maybe. 
no promises. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, you know, but like I said, just keep an eye out. Um, we just we got a bunch of stuff to still do around the house. So in a few weeks, I'll be back at it to catch up on all the reviews that um, that have been pending. So for everybody that's been asking for the Lightning Collection videos, that's been asking for the Amiibo unboxing videos, that's been asking for Fortnite live streams, all that kind of stuff, uh, it's coming in a, in a few weeks. Um, just need to get my office room set up properly to get back to doing those videos. So keep an eye out for those soon. Um, thank you as always. Just stay safe out there, y'all. This is the, the, the biggest priority. Stay safe. And uh, I will talk to you all later. Take care, everyone. Bye.